people just can't keep away from the cookie jar now, can they? Like, they cannot stop themselves from just trying to get an extra little buck. Nah, do you want to come over here, fam? Like, trust me, I just need a couple of more bucks. It's for a good course. So, now we've got a new thing going on. We've already talked about other slimy, like, anime businesses, like, going on, trying to do some shady shit. And now we've got manga being involved with it as we've got manga stream now introducing a brand new subscription service where they're asking well, pretty much to pay for people so they can get rid of their ads for $5.99 a month. Now, I want to immediately talk about this because I saw this on my feed and I'm not going to lie, I got pretty fucking triggered by the audacity of the entire fucking thing. Like, an illegal fucking manga service that, let, let's not, let, let's cut the bullshit here. They just straight up steal the fucking chapters. Like, they grab them even before they're even supposed to be out in Japanese, like, magazines and all that. They're, before even all of that's going down. They're all there, taking them and putting them out there, and they're putting you know a bunch of ads on their website and making money. It's the same thing when you get with anime streams, and it's the same thing as I've said every time before. As I, when I talked about as well, when you're like getting a Crunchyroll subscription or talking about anything, it's understandable. If you ain't got the money, I am fine with that. And another thing which is very important with the manga stuff, a lot of these titles are just not translated or very late to translatable. Some people really want to keep up to date with the brand new like things that are going on with this series. And I've got some good points where it comes to like I understand it and a lot of the, like dedication where a lot of these fan sites like out there that want to translate it, they just want to translate it because they really want to like actually have some brand new content. It's like I want to see like other people talking about this. Let's talk about some of the things that I actually respect out that just do not get translated. Gintama, that stop like jump stopped publication of that series on their English side of things. So they stopped that at the twenty volumes. It's been like over like I'd like to say five, six years now, and they keep translating this stuff. That's never gonna be on the Shonen Jump official website, and I can see people being upset about that. Jojo, which still in part three of the manga with the volumes of the Jojoniums, and if it wasn't a fan translator, like, we wouldn't have four, five, six, seven, and eight. Like, we're still going on to these days. Like, Margi, one of my favorite series, it took forever for the volumes to finally catch up to some of the material now. Twin Stars, like, has been having that same treatment. And a lot of the series that I follow, but, like, a lot of the stuff that I review when I was reviewing Fairy Tale, the Fairy Tale chances coming out because they always used to come out late. Like, they, it was just how it was. Like, I'm not going to, like, condone people for but I will condone people trying to make a fucking buck off it because regardless of what, like, as much as I would love to see, like, Shonen Jump, like, like officially translate some of these titles that I love, same thing with, like, Kondansha, Shonen Jump, I, in the dream world where there are all the series that we want to see and get translated and translated, I would love that. It is physically impossible, though, with the amount of series on there. What we can do, though, like, at this point, is get the series on there and then try and keep bugging a lot of the services that are saying, hey, how about some of these series? We've been seeing digital sales recently becoming a big comeback recently, especially with stuff that we've seen with, like, Rave Master. That was a series to me which I thought was never going to come back ever again, and they decided to re-release that, like, into a digital style. Would I love if, like, something like Gintama had that? I would adore that. I would absolutely adore that. I just don't know. So it's a very mixed, like, all, like situation that we're at here where it's like, sh like, are we going to fully condone every single manga translation, like, uh, entry out there? And it's like, no, I'm not going to do that because I have talked to some of these people before. I have, like, even talked, like, in Skype calls with them. Some of them are just decent people that just want to do it. But, like, oh, like I just cannot stand what manga streams doing. And not to mention as well, just the shit on the service itself as well. One, they're very fucking lazy when it comes to a lot of their translations. Like, they do take their sweet-ass fucking time with some of those series. Like, I remember they had, like, Magi and a few other series out there a while, and they just, eh, just take the time with it, just don't give a shit. 
And to be fair, I've heard a few stories here and there about Manga Stream, how they shitted on a lot of other fan translation sites by just, A, taking a lot of the other translators, like, from, like, the, all of these other sites, and just two as well. Just like, hey, we're really going to try and push this series, and since they were a lot more of a bigger brand, they'll be like, nah, fuck you, we're going to be started doing this. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff with, like, this site. Like, it always has some sort of issue with it, but... I want to ask you guys mainly, like, what the fuck do you think about this? Because, like, they're charging five ninety nine just so you can get rid of, the, like, the little mini ads that you see on there. Just to get rid of the stuff that, you know, just help, you know, help some pay. Which, you know, regardless of what, they're going to get fucking pay enough already as it is. Like, and you get to have a special color on your little thing when you leave a comment on the website. Whoa, I mean, that is just worth five ninety nine a month. Or you can just go to Shonen Jump, which is 25 bucks a year, and you get a, over a dozen titles. There's also, as well, they have their free section, which is a ton of stuff. A huge, massive catalogue of Shonen Jump series on there, from Dragon Ball Super. And we've got the brand new stuff from the Death Note creators. We've got Haikyuu on there, the Green Man. Like... You could go on and on with this list, and that's not even talking about the subscription in the South, where you get all of the brand new, like, Shonen Weekly series on there. Like, there's a few that they're, like, kind of, like, not on there, like some of the brand new series that they got on there. But a lot of time, it's majority of the magazine and stuff that people really want to see on there. Like, and that's the thing, where... What if, like, for the people, though, that want to see that stuff? Like, it's just how it is. And as a broken record player, Dream World... I would love if, like, all of these magazines had their kind of shit together with this and be like, hey, here's your title here. Here's, like, here's your Black Clovis. Here's your Gintama. Like, here's all of that good shit right there under one giant package like that. You pay, I don't know, let's say 50 bucks a year for not only Shonen Jump, but for, for Kondansha, every Kondansha title that you can think of, like, just get it all in there, get it all in Shonen Sunday, like, it adds about, like, a fat, like, all of the stuff that you read, because I, I read quite a lot of things, and a lot of them are just never going to be translated, or never, like, Jojo, like, that's going to take years and years before, like, all of that gets translated, but... I, I still I love the series. I, lo I love a lot of these series and I want to support them and just can and that's why we have fans wrestling. But this has gone on long enough. I want to know what you guys think. Also, just a friendly reminder, just go fuck yourself like manga stream and all that. Like you have the absolute audacity to do that. You just, at like at the end of the day, I think you're just greedy scum. That that's just how it is and all that just going from there. But then again, if you still use the service, I don't blame you. But, like, just look at them next time and see what kind of, like, shady shit a lot of, like, these translation sites and a lot of these anime stream, like, sites are trying to do. That's why I still try and recommend people to go with the official stuff. Like, stick with your Crunchyroll, stick with Funimation, stick with, like, the stuff that you know. And especially Crunchyroll has their own manga stuff as well. They have a lot of the Kondansha titles on there. They have Attack on Titan. They have Fairy Tale. They have Fuka, UQ Holder. They have a bunch of titles on there. So it's not just Shonen Jump and like Bookwalker and like Amazon. Like a lot of these series are like already on these sites already. So you can get them officially in great translations by the way. So that's all for me. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll see you guys though next time.